Okay, here we are in wonderful Depew. This guy's been with me for a while, and he ended up getting evicted. He just hasn't been able to uh, keep pace with making the payments. He's had some issues with life and his wife, so, ouch. He's got some serious problems here. I mean, he tore this, shit, he tore this place apart. This is one that, uh, yeah, well, I guess I said that about the last video, that this is one that would go down in history. Look, a Bowflex. Um, so we're going to have to scrounge through this stuff and see what's good and what's not. But it's a definite dump trailer here. I'm down into the basement. And the thing that worries me is this guy's got kids. And uh, I'm worried about the kids. This is, uh, this is absolutely no way to live. And this didn't just happen overnight. This has been years in the making, so... That's going up to the main. I'm waiting for my guy to come in and change the locks on the door. But we got the upstairs. This is the uh, kind of like the common area between the kitchen and the front living room. There, the front. Here's the uh, foyer in the front entrance. He left the ladder, which is okay because he's got me for about oh four months rent. He did leave a couple of things. I got a flat screen. Don't know if it works. I'm guessing he grabbed his computer and stuff like that. Got a little bit of light here. But this is the front living room. We're going to put this house up. We're going to go through this whole thing and strip it and get it nice, gut it, clean it up, put it on the market. Nice three bedroom, two bath. This bath was brand new when we put it. Oh no, this guy had it about eight or nine years ago. Look at this. Like I said, this wasn't just done. This has been quite a while in the making. I got me a copy machine, looks like. Um, he ripped doors off. He tore the kitchen apart. Bathroom smells like piss in here. Look at that. His cabinet was almost new when he got here. Tore up the floor. Guess he had a cat. Look at, look at the kitchen. Isn't this beautiful? Cabinets. Left me a vacuum cleaner. That's nice. So we'll go upstairs. and This is just a shame. This place is really nice, too. When they came in, they broke the stairs. I don't know what the hell he had in here. He busted apart these spindles. And right into there, you can see the crack. Those stairs are cracked, so... Either something came flying down the stairs or something heavy went up it. So you gotta keep, you gotta favor the left side here, so we gotta rebuild all of that. All of my moldings got busted up. He ripped all the carpeting out. Probably pissed on it because that's what I smell. Yeah. So we got, uh, we're gonna rip up all this flooring. I wonder if I should call my insurance company and go after him. I mean, I don't know if this would constitute vandalism or what. He's got had an eviction notice, so we're here to change the locks. I got the constable coming. This is the, uh, welcome to my world of rentals. This is the stuff that uh, people may say, oh, yeah, you, you're doing great, man. You got all of these rentals. You're, you're just, oh, yeah. I, mean, I think he's shit on the wall. I mean, the frig. So, busted up every door in sight. I think he just pissed some shit on everything here. There's the front. So, we got us some serious cleaning to go through. Probably with gas masks. Busted all my spindles. I'm gonna redo this railing, build this up higher. Make myself a higher post and redo these stairs the right way. Bashed holes in the walls. I wonder what he did to, I wonder if he did anything in my attic. I'll have to go up there and see. So, I am worried about the kids though. So I'm going to uh, run this by Child Protective Services and let them know what I found. Because if this guy's living like this, these kids are not safe. You'd have to agree with that, right? Oh my god. <laughs> 